If you go to superbase.com, you can see this website here. So build in a weekend, scale to millions. And so Superbase, you can see here is an open source Firebase alternative. I've used a lot of Firebase on this channel because it's really easy to set up and get going. But now it's time for something a bit more powerful. And Superbase is also really easy to set up, but has a few more advantages over Firebase. The first thing is it's open source. It uses a relational database structure, making it more powerful when we need to do some complex queries. It's also just generally more flexible and customizable and you have control over your backend and it's got some good pricing structures and you can also self-host it, giving teams full control over their data and infrastructure. So let's click on start your project and let's create a new project. And for the name, I'm just gonna call it notes app and you can give it a password. Now I'm just gonna generate a password here and select the region that's appropriate for you. Cool, and you can see it's setting up the project now. And later we're going to need to grab these API keys. So let's just wait for the project to finish setting up. Cool, okay, sweet. So welcome to your new project. Get started by building out your database. So let's start by building the tables. So if you go on the side column here, let's go to the table editor, create a new table, and I'm just gonna call this notes. And for now, I'm just going to check this security off so that I can show you how to get started real quick. And let's check this enable real time so that we can broadcast changes. Cool, so by default, we have a couple columns here. So for the ID and also the timestamp for when this note was created. I'm gonna add another column and let's just call it body and the type I'm gonna select text and default value, we can just leave it as null. So if I save this, it's gonna create us a table. Like this. And now I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app, which is just a notes page and this is just a scaffold so you should just have a blank white app like this now the very first thing i want you to do is to open up your terminal and let's add in the package and this is the package that we're going to be adding in so i'll link it below so you can take a closer look at it if you want it's got all the documentation and the instructions for how to set it up take a closer look at it to get some more detail but i can show you real quick right now how to set this up so Flutter pub add super base flutter. So in the main function, let's make this asynchronous and let's do some setting up. And we're gonna say widgets flutter binding ensure initialized. And then the main thing here is the if you go to super base, you can see we can enter to order import. And let's initialize two things, the URL and the Anon key. So if you come back to the super base and you go to the home, if you scroll down, you can see the project APIs. So these are the two things we're going to copy over. So the URL and the Anon key. Cool, and at this stage, since we brought in a new package, I want you to kill the app and just rebuild it just so that I make sure everything's running smoothly. Cool, now if we come to our notes page, I'm going to do the basic CRUD operations to show you how we can use Superbase. So I'm going to have a way to create a note and then save it in Superbase. And let's also be able to read the notes from Superbase in our app. Cool, so I'm gonna start with a add new note method. And so this will just open up a dialog box and I'm going to have a simple text field inside. And just to show you while we code this along, if you go to our scaffold, the floating action button, on the pressed, let's add new note. And so you can see there's the little button at the bottom. I might actually add a add icon. There it is, and if I click on it, you can see this alert dialog will pop up and it's got the text field inside where we can just type stuff in. Now, if I wanna access what we typed in, then we're going to need to have a text controller and give it to the text field so that we can have access to this information that's typed in. And then we want to have a save button. So when we click on this, then we want to save the note. 
And I'm also going to just pop this box. Cool, and for the saving note, if I just separate out this method, this is the super base related part of the code. So super base dot instance, we're gonna go to our client from, now which table are we looking at? I'm looking at the notes table and you can say insert to insert a value. So remember, I wanna put it in the body column. So that's where I'm going to give my text controller. So let's try this. If I save this and I say my first note and I hit save, let's come back to our super base table in the notes and you can see there's our first note. Beautiful, so now we can create a note and save it. So I'm going to now read these notes from the database. Right, so to do this, we're going to use a stream. Let's call it notes stream. And so again, if you go to your super base instant client in the notes table, just access the stream. And for the primary key, let's just say ID. So that's that first column. And in the body, we're going to use a stream builder. And I'm gonna just specify the type here. So it's going to be a big list with a map with string dynamics. So that's what a table is gonna look like. And then we can pass through our stream. And then in the builder, we can start building this out. So let's account for when it's loading and when it's loaded. So for the loading, if the snapshot doesn't have data, then we're going to just return a circular progress loading circle. Otherwise it's loaded. So what we're gonna do is grab the notes. and just return as a list view builder, right? So the item count is gonna be just however long the notes. And when we build this, we're gonna get the individual note first. And then from that note, you can get the column that you desire. So let's say we wanna get that body column. And then we can just return it in the UI. So if I just save this, you can see there it is, my first note. And then if I say second note, you can see it shows up right there. And that's how easy it is to set up Superbase with your Flutter app. And coming back to our table in Superbase, you can see all of our data is nicely structured here. Awesome. Now I'm going to slowly move away from Firebase and work with Superbase as I think it's a better alternative. So I look forward to the next videos and let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.